Hello friends, welcome back to e-commerce project in Laravel 10. Last video we were discuss cash on delivery means we have choose the cash on delivery and after we have update the status and we have a store inside database after we redirect to cart page and show thank you for placing order like this we have show message. In this video we can continue PayPal. You are fill the forms after place the order so we need to redirect to PayPal and PayPal once we have make a success after we need to show inside database like a cart one means we need to update the records and we need to show like a thank you for flashing order before we can start check out as a paypal so you are new in the channel otherwise in this series so please subscribe and please press the bell icon so whatever content we are uploading so always get the notification and you can start immediately new thing learning and also do you want to buy any script just go to our official website errorsolutioncode.com and here you can buy this script you can see it here and also do you want to develop any coding about as a freelancer so just contact telegram whatsapp otherwise skype but we always prefer a skype so let's start now paypal checkout so just fill the all the information after you click on the paypal so we redirect another pages let me show you resources views sorry app http controller here you can see it like a payment controller so just scroll down in last so you can see last video we did a checkout as a cash so we have all done now we need to work as a checkout as a paypal so here is we need to write some code for the paypal otherwise everything is done so let me open the my database so i can explain very well what the total we have there okay but first open the database we can store create a one order like a test test okay you know about that is a like a youtube privacy policy i don't want to is like a data about like real data this is name always use a test test and i don't want to create account now i choose here paypal and free shippings i click on the process to check out so you can see it like a checkout payment here is a order id here there and also you can see it here is a paypal like a payment type is a paypal this reason we have not write any coding this reason is not redirect so let's go to our database ecommerce.com just you can go inside and after you can open your uh, orders tables now just go to last is a test test data and here you can see like a paypal and what is the total amount do you want to pay hundred dollars okay so here is a calculation already available so here we need to write a like some paypal coding so first of all you need a paypal account i am using here sandbox so but do you are new means uh, you don't know how to work paypal so you need to watch the video about paypal like a uh, he's already created some demo so you can understand second thing you need to redirection setting you need in your paypal okay because i can't cover here it's redirection about privacy policy in youtube so you need to read his a paypal document and you can redirect okay this connection ID. here i already write some code here you can see it i just copy paste this code okay and i just put here <laughs> And after I will make some cleaning. I get record means the get orders. Here I can make like a get orders, like amount here. So my amount here, whatever amount there. So this is the total amount. So just copy this name and I can put here. Now I don't need get settings. So just remove. Okay. And also here we need to change like a whatever your project name there. So I just say my e-commerce. Whatever project name you are there, you can use your one e-commerce after item number what item number do you want to provide get order dot id whatever means is like order id we need to provide as the item number so you know which item number against he is a paid second thing we don't need like a here's a condition so just remove condition so just remove uh, second one is like this is the location http like redirection is like a live so i don't want to work as a live so i just make comment i just need to work sandbox Suppose do you want to work live so you need to make uncomment this one and you can make this comment now here do you want to provide like your business paypal id so for whatever account wise you are logging in your paypal this paypal id do you want to provide here so my paypal id i already write here and i can put here this is the sandbox so don't try okay i can told you again is a sandbox don't try your side now here you can see like paypal id it means dummy paypal id and here you can see it like amount and here the item number is the, like a, our order id other thing we need for the paypals okay so don't change 
now we need to create a two parameters like create cancel result and and result so cancel result we need to check out as a direct checkout base suppose i am going to here and i can open the website and i just go here checkout page so it's automatic once i will click on the cancel means back so we need to redirect to cancel you are here okay second one we need to make like a success payment so paypal here you can make like a success and here you can make like a payment so we need to create for this route because of cancel you are already there routes so we don't want to change here we need to create a new route like a paypal success payment so just go to route inside the web and just scroll down here you can see like a checkout just copy and paste like a above routes and you can change here now here you can make like a paypal success payment okay just copy these lines means copy these words and now we need to create a new function inside a paypal controller just go to paypal controller and here you can create a new functions controller and here we can make like request dollar request so what information we are get i can show you okay i go all okay so now is everything is correct let's try it's working not working okay so we can try it otherwise everything is done now here is a currency whatever do you want to use you can use your currency here you can pass amount here is item number means the order id so we know which order id agency is the paid here is the paypal id means your business support do you want to put directly like this so also can possible we don't want to use the variable so also can possible okay and this amount do you want to put directly here so also can possible we don't want to use this is the variable also i hope now is a clear is very simple very easy and after you need to write here like exits because of we need to redirect so location here to redirect this reason i have did here exits okay let's save this files and we can try it's working not working i just go back again and i just need to refresh the page i don't want to fill this reason i have copy this line because of one time is a payment success not success so we need to check again so we can copy and paste for this url and we can try it i don't want to fill again checkout page so you can see it i have fill and here is a going to sandbox.paypal.php also my price is 100 dollars you can see it here 100 dollars okay now we need to add a here is a like a password i know my password this is i am adding my password but you need to do your passwords okay so now i have login whatever sandbox inside you are creating password this password do you want to add my account is a like a gb this is an automatic convert otherwise your side whatever account that is an automatic convert after you need to press complete purchase okay this is the like paypal side setting whatever you have there like this setting works it is not our dependency and i told you you need a like auto redirection so this is the setting you need to do your own way okay you can search inside a paper and he can explain how to auto redirect to websites now once payment success so you can see it is a redirect to our back website like a paypal success payment so this is the all data i have received just we need to write like a paypal id is available also is a our is item number so sevens is also available so we need to check in our database okay is perfect and after we need to check like is a status is equal to completed and also we need to check is a transaction id suppose here is a any transaction id there okay this is the transaction id mm, this is the transaction id you can see tx so we need to store also inside database and other payment data inside we need to store all things and here we need to create a new column for the transaction id okay so let's try now so first of all we need to do like a ht and item number wise so just you can go back again here you can make like if is not empty dollar request item id let me do where is the item 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 number not item id okay item numbers <coughs> sorry and and is not empty st 
and and is uh, and and is equal to is equal to completed okay let's go to back again completed this is going to here so here we need to write our coding like here we can make like a abort okay abort 404 now here also we need to write like a data getting of the orders so just copy above ones and you can paste here and here you can pass like a item number so also we need to make condition like this order data is available if is not empty get order so going to inside otherwise need to make like a abort 404 so means everything is correct so now we need to write here is a is payment is equal to 1 and cart clear and after we need to redirect to cart page order six will be placed so just you can copy paste here okay so just copy paste and I can remove this space so look like a professional save save now here is the already right card successfully placed it means the order successfully placed not a card now here we need to write our more payment data so just you can store inside the database so here you can see like a payment data I just copy this name and I can make like a professional way dollar request all here I make like a JSON and code because we need to convert as a JSON data here also we need to store our transaction ID so first we need to create new column name inside a orders tables just go to structures and here you can try like a ID user ID first name after you can try like a transaction ID whatever place do you want to like you can add but we need a transaction ID so we know which transaction ID against so is a paid like a where get 255 and after you can pass here null value and after you click on the save okay just go back again and here you can put transition id is equal to tx i can show you so don't worry okay you can see it like a transition id tx okay another data we are stored inside a more data inside a payment data you can see it here here okay so let's refresh the page and we can check it's working not working is 100 percent working i know about that because we have write a proper code this is the reasons okay let's copy this line means so we can suppose not working generate the error so we can copy paste again this is the reason i just press enter and you can see it order successfully placed also cut clear now i'm going to orders db and i just refresh so you can see it payment data is equal to once uh, also you can see it all the data available inside database suppose i am going to json parser dot online dot fr so you can see it all data available inside a database tables means database column tables so you can see it here so i hope you are clear how to make means how to check out using the paypal so do you have any questions so please comment out and do you want to like this video so please like and next video we can do as a stripe so also we can short out stripe now after we can send an email as an invoice for the users once the payment payment get we done after we can work is a invoice but uh, before you can do like this here so you need to change your paypal id because this is the dummy id and also do you want to make live so just you can make uncomment and you can make comment out for this line so live part also work but before you can do anything you need to some setting need in your paypal like a redirection auto mode otherwise is a impossible redirect auto so you need to go to your uh, website preference inside redirection like on after we need to make like a data send yes so all setting do you need after it's working paypal okay i hope you are clear so next video here remaining about like a stripe so i can short out next video is a stripe okay and uh, do you have any questions so please comment out do you want to like this video so please like and do you want to see like this video more so please subscribe our channel and thank you for watching error solutions